okay so good day so yung next uh, our next topic for um, dynamics of rigid bodies is about general curvilinear motion okay so previously yung mga topic natin is about a uh, rectilinear motion uh, with their oh. continuous motion and uh, continuous motion and erratic motion so here we will discuss about the curvilinear motion okay so unlike rectilinear motion yung curvilinear motion is a movement na curve okay so in din uh, in when in rectilinear motion our uh, motion is along as uh, straight okay so yung so sa rectilinear motion we assume that our uh, the movement of, the, of an object is along straight path itong curvilinear motion is curved na yung path niya okay so therefore okay so ganun yung uh, orientation natin so from straight path movement to curvilinear path yung magiging ano natin lecture natin okay so without further ado we will uh, um, we will introduce this so since curvilinear motion tayo pwede yung motion natin is in 2D or 3D okay so just like yung rectilinear motion natin pwede na pwede rin siyang 2 dimensional at pwede rin siyang 3 dimensional speaking of 2 dimensions so we have x and y components and then for 3D 3D uh, okay so we have also a 3D components na curvilinear motion okay so without further out uh, Without so much ado, introduce natin muna to 2D components, okay? 2D curvilinear motion, okay? So, eto, okay? So, let's consider a curved movement, okay? So, let us say pag ganito yung movement, okay? So, let us say this is your initial position and this is your final position. So, from your initial position, meron siyang radius of curvature na R. Okay? And then, as your um, as your object or your body moves from this position to that position along this uh, curved motion, okay? Ito na yung R niya, okay? Ito na yung R niya, okay? Sorry. So, hindi straight yung pagka, pagka, ano ka? Yan. So, yan. So, just assume that this is the new R, okay? So, this R, we baptized it as R sub O. And this is, let us say, um, R sub 1 okay so O means a uh, 0 and this and then let us okay so this is your final position speaking of we can say that your R sub 1 there is a possibility na uh, hindi sila equal ni R sub O so to make up with it so we can say that R sub 1 is equivalent to R sub O plus a certain change in R, okay, in position, okay. So, this change of R doesn't always signify na tumat, uh, lumaki yung radius of curvature ng curve mo. So, possibly itong radius of curvature mo is lumiit, okay. So, if that is the case, yung change of R mo should be positive kung nag-increase yung yung radius mo and negative if nag-decrease okay so with so maybe baka nakakalito okay and this and this is your actual S okay eto okay so speaking of Doon na tayo pumunta 
sa mga formulas niya, okay? So, para mas madali. So, it is said that your R, okay, yung your general uh, radius is equivalent to Xi plus Yj. Okay? We are speaking of trivia. So, this is um, its form in a, in a rectangular 2D form. Yung radius mo is x i plus y j. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin i, yun yung um, directional component. Okay? Okay? Yung vector component. Okay? Pag sinabi natin vector component is it has direction. Okay? So, i, x i plus y j. In which, your r is equivalent to square root of r x squared plus y squared. So, yan. So, in general curvilinear motion, there is a possibility na itong x and y mo, okay, to, we are speaking of 2D components, so we can have that your x is a function, okay, a function of time. Okay? Let us say f sub 1t. Then your y, ay f sub x. And then your y is a function of y, or a function of time also, okay? So if that is the case, your velocity is equivalent to dr over dt, okay? So ibig sabihin yung r mo, okay, yung, yung general formula ng uh, radius mo, okay, is equivalent to the first derivative of your r. Okay, so the first derivative, so we know that your r is xi plus yj. So therefore, your v is equivalent to dx over dt i plus dy over dt j. Okay, nga, ganyan. So you can rewrite this one, your velocity equivalent to Okay, you can rewrite this as equivalent to x, then a single dot at the top. So, it means that your x component, okay, is differentiated once, plus y, okay, a dot at the top, j, okay. So, this is equivalent. So, you can use this formula or that formula. So, they denotes the same. The same lang yung denotation. Um, uh, they mean the same. Okay? So, the first derivative of R is the the velocity. Okay? In vector form, kasi, is because it is in vector form, okay, so you differentiate your R once and you get the velocity. So, kaya dx over dt i plus dy over dt j. It's equivalent to this. Or you can rewrite this as like this. Pwede niyong ito. Or ito. Okay. So, pwede yung uh, ito yung formula. Yan ang V. So, you can, uh, you may memorize this one. Okay? And precisely, dahil alam naman natin na acceleration is equivalent to dV over dt. So, ibig sabihin, i-differentiate na naman natin to Okay? So, therefore, acceleration, i-differentiate itong ito, so therefore it is d squared x over dt squared I know. Okay? So, bukasan natin kasi masyadong malaki yung nasulat ko. So, yung acceleration mo is equivalent to um, in, is equivalent to dv over dt so, therefore, we will differentiate this, this again. Okay? Ito. Okay? So, it is equivalent to Vx i plus Vy uh, j. Okay? So, yung, alam naman natin na yung Vx natin is ito. So, your acceleration is dx 
Okay? So you differentiate this. Um, no, 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 no. Dvx. Okay? So your acceleration is equivalent to. Okay? D squared x over dt squared. Okay? Sorry. Uh, and then d squared y over dt squared j. Okay? Yan. So, yan yung another formula mo. Okay? And then, another denotation niya. So, it is equivalent to, okay? Then, uh, second different, uh, second differential na to. So, therefore, dalawa na yung dot sa itaas. So, x double dot i plus y double dot j. Yan. So, ito yung formula natin. Okay? So, therefore, so, na, nakukuha nyo ba yung concept class? Okay? So, you can comment down if hindi nyo naintindihan once you have uh, watched this video. Okay? So, you differentiate your r1s you will get the velocity. And then, you differentiate again, your uh, your velocity, you will get acceleration. Okay? So, we differentiate it in terms of time. Okay? So, we consider it, uh, we consider that your x and y component are functions of time in which your x is the function of time in x direction and your y is functions of time in y direction. So, ganyan yung Ano, yung mga formulas, okay? So, maybe mahirap yung pagka-explain ko. But, you just remember these formulas. Okay? So, then, we go to 3D components. Since may 2D, o, oh, tapos na yung 2D natin, meron din tayong 3D components, which is X, Y, Z, okay? So, I will erase this one, okay? Pwede yung i-post to kasi video to, okay? So, I will just, um... Erase this one, then explain, and we go on with uh, 3D components. Okay? Ayan. We have 3D components. So, unlike yung 2D components natin, pwede natin siyang isulat. Okay? Let us say, meron kang Y, meron kang X direction, so meron kang Z direction. Okay? And then, yung uh, 3D motion mo is parang pa ganyan. Okay? Let us consider na parang gumalaw siya in 3D. Okay? So, medyo mahirap siyang i- Han? So, at any point, so let us say that in this 3D components, iba na yung, ano natin, so tatlo na siya. So, X, Y, Z. So, therefore, your vector, your vector R is equivalent to X, I. Okay? Plus Y, J plus Z, K. Okay? So, just like um, 2D components, pa similar lang sila. Okay? So, your V, so your X here is a function of time. Your Y here is also a function of, function of time and Z is also a function of time. So, uh, okay, Z. Z component ko siya. So, if this is the case, Your velocity, so we all know that your velocity is equivalent to the first derivative of your R. Okay, this. Speaking, this R is your the general formula of this curve. Okay. So, therefore, your V is equivalent to um, dx over dt i plus dy over dt j plus dz 
over dpk. And then, we know that your acceleration is equivalent to a derivative of v over the derivative of time. Okay? So, therefore, we differentiate it again. Okay? We differentiate again uh, your v, okay, for the second time from r. So, therefore, okay, your, ac uh, your acceleration is equivalent to d squared x over dt squared i plus d squared y over dt squared j plus d squared z over dt squared k. Yeah. So, you can rewrite this v as x single dot at the top plus y single dot at the top j plus z single dot at the top k. And for this acceleration, you can rewrite it as Okay, ito, para hindi masya, uh, hindi masyadong mahaba yung pagkasulat, is equivalent to double dot, x double dot i plus um, y double dot, okay, at the top j, then z double dot at the top k, okay. So, yan yung mga formulas na kailangan nyo i-memorize. Okay, so this is for 3D components, okay? So, um, technically speaking, ano, concepts pa lang yung uh, nil, uh, mga sinabi ko, okay? So, for the next videos, para mas maintindihan natin, magkaroon tayo ng oh, uh, mag-set tayo ng mga, uh, mag-solve tayo ng mga examples, okay? Para mas maintindihan nyo, ano yung paano isolve tong curvilinear motion.